I'm going to show you guys how to make a modded Minecraft server for the TechIt launcher. So, pretty much what you want to do is you want to make a Minecraft, like, uh, what's it called? A Minecraft mod pack. So, here, here's mine. I'll teach you guys how to do that in an another video. In the other videos. So, pretty much what you want to go to do is you want to go to here. Go to a new browser. Doesn't matter what browser you use. Go to TechIt. Click this one, click that, and then you want to go to, oh uh, no, that's not it, wait, is it, oh yeah, 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 okay, you want to go here, and then you want to go to, how to create a mod pack. I think this is how to make a mod pack server. You click this, and it'll come. Wait, that's not it. One sec, gotta find it here. Wait, is this it? No. Okay. Um, I wonder if it is this. But it shouldn't take you to this. It should take you to uh. Okay, what the hell? Okay, yeah. Uh, wait, maybe this is it. Yeah, this is it. And then I think. Wait, maybe it's not. Yeah, okay. And then what you want to do is you want to go 1.2.5. Click that. You come to this, download it, and this is this will allow plugins as well. So let's wait till it's downloading. If you're making another mod pack, it's any of these, like 1.5.1, 1.5.2, 1.4.7. Just click any one of that, and it should be the whole server. So open that when you're done. When it's done downloading. Sweet. Okay, I don't know why it's not opening. What the hell, man? I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna throw some pop cans and some juice. The devil within my butt. Okay, yeah, really? There we go. Now it's done. So it'll be this. What you want to do is you want to make a new folder on your desktop. Name it whatever the hell you want. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to name mine. I'm just going to name it that because I already have one. So open that up. And then what you want to do is you want to drag these files in here. Click on run. Yep. And it should do this. It's loading. And the really one sec. And like the really the hard part is is actually installing the mods onto the server. It took me quite a few tries to do it. Because like when you install mods, like I read on it and I guess you can't have you cannot have uh mods from your, like, here, I'll show you my mod pack right now, so, oops, so, here, so, what you want to do is you want to have, you want to have the mods folder, you want to delete, you have to remember this, so, you have to delete all the things, like, the mods for your client, so, what that basically means, if you have inventory tweak, that's for client, if you have, I don't know, um, what do I have here for a client? I got an inventory tweak, <coughs> that Optifine, that's whatever it is. I'm not sure. And then, yeah. So, that's pretty much all it is. And yes, you have to have up to date mods. So, like, say this is 1.5.2 server here, you're gonna have 1.5.2 mods in the mods folder. And if you if it doesn't work like you, I'll drag uh, this in there and I'll start it. It's gonna come up with a crash report, and it, it is gonna it, you're gonna have to have patience because it is gonna take a few tries to get it to, to work, especially when you update it. It's gonna take a few tries because it took me quite a few tries to get it to work, and it's gonna crash it here. 
It didn't. K. Um, that's weird. Maybe the mod is for. Thing. Where's my in G? I wonder if that is. Hmm. Their auto item replaced. This will crash it. Pretty sure it will. Just let that load up, and it it it's gonna crash. Yeah. No, it didn't. What? Um, okay. Anyways, if it'll come up saying crash report set to whatever blah 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 set to destination. I I don't know. Re easiest mod to get is probably the uh, I don't know what it's called. One sec here. If I can find it, it's ID that ID resolver. You're probably gonna want that because once you get that thing, I'll show you what it does here. It like show you what the problem is crashing, what the ID is and everything. So actually, I don't know if I show you, but like, yeah, like say you can't connect to your server because something missing. It'll tell you what the ID is and how to fix it. And that's pretty much all you need to do. It, I don't know if it works with plugins. I'm pretty sure it does, but I've never tried yet. And yeah, that's pretty much all. Is the core mods like everything from your mods go in there? The core mods from your core mods. But like I said, all of the uh, so like that that doesn't go in there. Same with non-F items that doesn't go in there. That gets deleted because that's client mods. So that's pretty much all it is. And yeah. Thank you for watching, please comment, subscribe, and like the video.